Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> As you probably realize, I haven't posted in a while, and I'll tell you, I got um, sick. <laughs> it wasn't COVID. I took a COVID test, but it was, I believe, the flu that's going around. Um, I had had tickets that I had paid way in advance for Chasm Fest, and I was at that little um, crossroads campground right outside of Parker, between Parker and uh, Lake Havasu in Arizona. And uh, I started getting a sore throat. And within just a few hours, it was like on fire. And I just um, got chilled. <laughs> I had talked and helped the lady next to me set up her tent and I had talked to the guy on the other side of me for a while about, you know, the nomad life and stuff. And thank God I did, because when I got sick, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. I had nothing, 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 nothing in my van to help me with being sick. I have a first aid kit. It's for deep cuts. It's for sprains. <laughs> it's if, um, you know, I need to make a sling. <laughs> It's if I break my wrist. I mean, it's it's that kind of stuff. It's for the heavy duty stuff. I didn't have anything for just the um, everyday normal stuff we get sick with or even COVID. You know, the flu, pneumonia, uh, just a bad cold. I had nothing. Luckily, I had made friends with both people on both sides of me because not only did I within just a few hours, I was just so sick. I was curled up in bed with chills. And I mean, I went out and, and, and asked her if she was going to town. And as it happened, she was going to town that later that day. So I gave her some money for some NyQuil. Otherwise, I didn't have anything. And, oh, and the reason she had to go to town is because I went to start my van and my battery was dead. I mean, talk about a, a bunch of mishaps or bad luck, right? Boom, boom, boom. And so the gentleman that I had talked to the day before came over and did my, you know, gave me a jump. So that's tip number one for this video is take the time to walk around your campground and maybe talk to a few people, you know, uh, just because you might need them. And plus, they'll look out for each other. Because you might need them. Plus, you know, you can look out for each other. But then tip number two, make sure you have something in your van, whatever you use. I use NyQuil because if I go to sleep and I sleep really well, it usually kicks it out. This it did not. That's why I was afraid it was COVID. I went to Chasm Fest the next day, which I had already paid for six months in advance. And that night I could hear the band playing. People were laughing. People were having a great time. And I was curled up in my van with everything on top of me chilled. And of course, when the chills end, the fever starts. And I didn't even have a thermometer. I didn't even know what my fever was. I mean, I was totally unprepared for this. It is horrendous being sick in your vehicle. And if you don't have what you need to take care of yourself, it's terrible. Luckily, I was three and a half hours from my sister in Phoenix and I called her and said, sis, I'm sick. <laughs> Can I come be there? And she said, absolutely. <laughs> I got there. She tossed the COVID test inside the van and I sat out there and took a COVID test and made sure I was negative before I walked in. But yeah, get prepared. And, and I never thought of preparing for that. I prepared for the big emergencies. Not for the little things, for just getting sick, getting a sore throat. I mean, I didn't even have any cough drops. But um, right now I am in Texas. After I got sick, I stayed with my sister for a while. And then it was time to head to Texas for my uh, grandson's birthday. He turns 12 today. It's December 12th. And uh, then I'm going to be here for Christmas. And then I probably will head back to Quartzsite. So that's what's been going on with me. It's cold here. That cold front that's coming across the United States is hitting Texas pretty soon. It's going down into like 10 degrees at night. That's unusual for Texas. I mean, they had a bad spell of winter last year, and it looks like they're about to have another one. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Go get your NyQuil. 
and your cough drops and whatever else you use and make you a little first aid kit for just the, the smaller emergencies. <laughs> Bye.